there, voters. I'm Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Friday's episode of Voter TV. First up, let's see what's making waves in nautical news. Two historic British ships, the Mary Rose and the Cuddy Sark, have won the lottery, so to speak. The Heritage Lottery Fund, or HLF, has thrown a 31 million pound lifeline to the ships. That's nearly 60 million U.S. dollars to fund the preservation of maritime history. The Mary Rose is England's first warship and King Henry VIII's flagship. It sank in 1545 and was raised in 1982, along with 19,000 artifacts. But without government funding, the Mary Rose Trust has relied mostly on visitor income and fundraising to support the ship's conservation. Up until now, they could only afford to display 6% of the recovered artifacts. That will now change, though, with the HLF's contribution of 21 million pounds. Preservation plans include the building of a museum around the Mary Rose that will finally enable the drying out of its hull. It has been constantly sprayed with a water-based wax solution since it was raised and brought to the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. The grant will also allow many more of the ship's recovered artifacts, such as this leather Tudor shoe, to be displayed in the finished museum. The Cuddy Sark will be receiving a large check as well. Ten million pounds will help restore the ship that was gutted by fire last May. The Cuddy Sark is the world's only surviving tea clipper and a very popular London tourist attraction. It was built to deliver tea from China in the 1870s, but now will rest comfortably in its own dry dock museum in Greenwich. To learn more about these historic ships and those dedicated to preserving them, visit www.maryrose.org and www.cuttysark.org.uk. Next up, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week where this week we'll take a look at the 284cc by Mako. The 284cc is a very impressive open ocean fishing rig loaded with the fishing features the pros demand. Cutting edge materials mean you will have a rig that will take you offshore in all kinds of weather and be able to bring you back with holds full of fish. Today we got a special treat. This Mako 284 center console is George Pavaramo's boat. Now you may have seen him on ESPN2 and you also have seen his articles in Saltwater Sportsman. Let's start our walkthrough back here at the stern. The stern area gives you adequate room to work around the engines or grab the dive ladder and jump in for a cool dip. Access to all the pumps and other mechanicals is through a large in-floor access panel. The bait prep station has a 50-gallon bait well, grab rail, sink, and tackle trays. The standard T-top with five rod holders can be upgraded and enhanced, like you see here with three outriggers, ten rod holders, and more. At the helm, Mako has created enough space here to outfit this area with your own array of electronics. This maneuverable unit has dual hydraulic steering cylinders. Now Mako's done a good job designing this. Up front, we've got plenty of room to get up front and work a rod. And you can also take a fish all the way to the back of the boat because you've got nice wide walkways here. So if you want to do some serious fishing, the 284 center console from Mako has got plenty of room and as you can see, it can be optioned up to do the kind of fishing you want to do regardless of where you want to go. The 284 center console measures 28 feet 4 inches length on average with a stable beam width of 9 feet 10 inches. This model's hull weighs in at 6,000 pounds and is rated for up to 600 horsepower for outboards on her stern. She can be pre-rigged for engines from Mercury, Honda, Suzuki, and Bombardier. She has a fuel tank capacity of 235 gallons so you can go offshore with confidence. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the Mako 284cc, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Now in smooth sailing, a 15-year-old plans to sail around the world all by himself. Becoming the youngest person to sail across the Atlantic Ocean single-handed was just the beginning for Michael Parham. The British teenager was only 14 years old when he sailed into both English Harbor Antigua and the Guinness Book of Records on January 3rd of last year. Now Michael plans to become the youngest person to sail solo around the world. He needs to raise nearly $2 million for the five-month trip he hopes to begin this November. Sponsors have already given him a 72-foot Challenger yacht, so 
I'd say he's off to a good start. But the journey will definitely be a challenge and much different from his Atlantic crossing in a 28-foot sailing vessel. Michael admits this when he says, the boat is twice as big and hugely more difficult to handle. If you went to sea and you were not frightened at all, then you would be an idiot. Well said, Michael. He will be sailing around the world solo, but not completely alone. His father, Peter, an experienced yacht master himself, will sail alongside Michael in a similar vessel. If you think this young man is planning the trip just for his own glory, you are definitely mistaken. Michael and his supporters have established the Sail Mike Foundation, which currently supports two charities and provides sailing opportunities for disadvantaged and disabled people. Michael hopes his voyage will encourage other young people to experience life on the water. A television production company plans to follow Michael's big adventure. We'll be sure to update you on his progress here at the Boaters TV. In the meantime, if you'd like to read more about this incredible 15-year-old, check out www.sailmike.com. And finally today, it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com Celebrity Profile Pick of the Day, which is Captain David Lester and his 32-foot regal, Instant Karma. Here's Instant Karma on the St. Clair River in Canada. A man of many talents, David can even drive a sailboat. And here's his first mate. I'll bet the other captains are jealous. Welcome to the boaters and congrats on your celebrity status. And that'll do it for this episode of The Boaters TV. See you back here on Monday.